Hey, I'm Arcee and welcome to the episode 16 about trading a game in HTML5. So if you haven't watched the last episode, then I will highly recommend you to do so by clicking the annotation on the screen. So in this video, what I have in mind is to um, continue making the game more object oriented. So we are going to update um, the update loop actually uh, and making it um, putting all the code inside um, the constructor or instead of being in the um, update function itself. Okay, so let's just take a look to the update function. So as you can see, what we do is for every bullet in the game, we update them. So we, and this update, if you remember correctly, it's the default update. So the entity update, we update the position and then we draw the bullet. And on top of that, every single frame, we do um, some kind of logic to increase the timer. We do some kind of logic for collision. And we also do some kind of logic to remove the bullet if it add collide. So what would be great is if we could put this logic inside the update function. And this is what we are going to do. It's exactly the same method than we did for the actor. We take this code, we go in the bullet constructor and we create a new function. Well, we override the old update function with this value right here. And um, we also want to call the default update because we don't only want this logic, we also want to update the position and draw it. So we are going to save the value here and right there we can call that. And everywhere where we use bullet key, key is not defined here. So we can simply put self. So when we call update, it updates the position, update the drawing, then update our timer update, check if it's too big, um, does some kind of logic, delete. And here we cannot call bullet list key. The key is actually the ID of ourselves. So it's self dot ID delete ourself. So something like that. So let's do exactly the same thing, but for enemies. So we go here, we loop through every enemy and we call those function. We can take that and place it in the um, here, so we save what the update is, then we overwrite with this new value. And once again, we need to remove all the enemy list key with self, something like that. And if we go back here, what else? Upgrade list, we take those this code, we go in our upgrade this, copy paste, and change this, that, that, and delete self ID. And let's just go back to the update loop. Is there, so as you can see, the update loop is a lot easier. So it just loop through every bullet and update them. Loop through every upgrade, update them. Loop through every enemy, update them. Then this is kind of called for every player. So we can take that and place it in the player logic. So here, update position. And instead of using player, we can use self. It's not really a big deal in that case because we only have one instance, one copy of the player. There can only be one player at a time, but it's still a, a good um, practice to put um, self instead of player. And we need to um, save the old value right here and call it. There we go. I think I did that everywhere. Whoops. Forgot to put it there and forgot to put it there. Okay, that way. Actually, I kind of messed up right there. It's not self.update, it's super update. Um, otherwise, it will keep looping forever. So super, 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 and there we go. So let's just check how it looks. So if we go here, update our game, it still works. Um, 
as it should. So I guess that will be pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it. And in the next video, what I will do is cover how to load a file in our um, game. Because right now, all our code is in one file. But obviously, as the project grows, you will need to um, split it in multiple files. So I'm going to cover that. And I'm also going to cover how to draw images. So right now, it's all like our bullet is only like a square and the monster and stuff but we can actually very easily draw images with html5 and that's what i'm going to cover so thanks again for watching and don't forget to click the annotation on the screen to go check out the next episode see ya